Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. It's time to go tell Catherine about the fact that her daughter Sophie is going to have a place in the Imperial City. Which is going to be a huge relief to her. But before that, as soon as we go through this door and go to the other map, we are going to get uh, mobbed by a bunch of people. This time, though, I actually have the health for it, plus I equip my weapons. Um, what, let's see, I've already read this before, so now's your turn, you're gonna die, mm-hmm. Haha, -ha, I click the button first. I get the first shot. Four of us versus six of them. Easy peasy. You go first. Oh my fucking god. I just kill a kid. <clears throat> oh, burst fire. God, you're terrifying sometimes. Okay, let's forget that happened and try that again. Damn it, didn't get a first this time. Alright, let's shoot in a direction where if I hit someone, it's not going to be that kid. And kid, you really should run away. Please run. Uh, let's go for you. Much better. 19 points of damage. Yeah, I'm just going to start using the sniper rifle, I think. I don't know why it just seems to be doing such poor damage. I have AP loaded inside of it, and they're certainly, they have a decent amount of armor, no? Owie. Get him, Woofer. Get him. Yeah. I need to heal. I bought all the stim packs that I could from the uh, supply woman in the Imperial Army. Imperial City. Which unfortunately, was only three. Okay, now you go. 67 points of damage, nice. Come on, get him. No, not Woofer. Sure about surviving this one. All right, they're dead at least. I doubt that's going to end the encounter though. Nope. Oh boy. I have no more healing items left, and I'm dead. Shit. All right, just for the hell of it. I guess I'll try hollow point instead of armor piercing. Also, I've given her a bunch of energy weapons. But she still only wants to use the plasma pistol. Damn. She does have better weapons, right? Oh no, she doesn't have any of the weapons. Maybe it's Carrie that's holding the energy weapons. Yes. Let's give her a light plasma rifle. And I'm assuming that's the type of ammo it uses. Sure, sounds good. What do you say? Haha. -ha.
Critically hit. Man. Oops. Okay, let's try the burst fire with hollow points. You, in particular, look very unarmored. God damn it, I killed the kid again! Fuck me! I'm sorry! That's just bad luck, right? I mean, burst fire can sometimes hit other people, but it doesn't always, right? Aha! Uh -huh, I got it first. Alright, I'll go for someone else again. 18 points at- no! Whether it's armor piercing or hollow point. Burst fire is just sucking against these people for some reason. Huh. They're right then. Yeah, sniper. Come on, Lystra, help me out here. Yeah. Lystra was hit for 50 points of damage. Oof. She can't be doing too well now. She's almost dead. Fuck. Even with this new armor, this is surprisingly hard. There's all my healing items. Come on. Alright, we got one. Just please don't shoot Lystra or me. Go for carry. No! Ah. This is really hard. Jesus Christ. I don't really know what else to do. I've got pretty good weapons, I've got really good armor, I've got a pretty full group with good weapons. Other than keep trying, I... I can't think of much. I could try to go out the other entrance and see if they're not there, but truth is I want to take them out. Okay, good start. 102 points of damage. Oop, quickly hit in the left leg, that's not good. Whoa, that's really good luck. Okay, aside from Lystra getting critically hit in the left leg, this is going pretty well. Kid, the kid's just like hiding behind the boxes watching. Like, oh, cool. Oh man, Lystra's running away, isn't she? She's so hurt. Yeah, damn it. That's gonna take a lot of my combat power out. Ah, oh, still not dead. Alright, this is no longer looking good. Carrie, why are you using a knife? F 
fuck me. Oh, that that was exceptionally lucky. I got two one-hit kills with a sniper, and I still lost. I'm gonna go out the other way and just see if I can avoid them. This just seems like it's too hard. If even getting pretty lucky I can't do it, then I need to get extremely lucky. I'd rather just find more stim packs somewhere. But it's also possible they're gonna assault me from the other exit as well. We're about to see. No, just the one place. Alright, good. I guess I'll just avoid him for now. I was just thinking I should go see um, Chuck at the gun store. To see if I can maybe buy that, uh, what was it, the Browning Rifle or something and see how it is. But Chuck is very dead. So that's not going to happen. Um, Alright, let's just go... Actually, before I go tell Catherine, let's go inside the Monster Hunter base. We have not stepped foot inside of here yet. What do you want? What do you know about this sign? Show him the talisman. That's a rebirth talisman. We buy them for good money. Uh, what's rebirth? We don't really know what it's supposed to mean, but it's what a large group of ghouls call themselves. It must be some sort of a religion of theirs, I guess. Can you tell me anything else? There's not much. The only members are ghouls. There are dangerously too many of them. And what's more, they got their hands on pre-war tech somewhere, including power armor and energy weapons. They're annihilating entire villages and towns, and the inhabitants are being abducted to an unknown location. Hmm. But can someone tell me even more about this rebirth? Sebastian, our leader. But he's on the base. On the base? On top of it? And ain't got time to chat. Alright, can I go inside? You got no business there. I can't let every Tom, Dick, and Harry through. I have vital information about the rebirth. I must report it to your leader immediately. Bullshit. Anyone could say that. Listen, this is critical information which may mean a breakthrough in your fighting the rebirth, and I must tell it to someone important, someone who will know what to do with it. I can't just start explaining this to nobody such as yourself. Oh, damn. Well, you better go find Sebastian. Don't just stand there. Alright. I think I finally flexed my speech skill. They're not gonna shoot me for having a weapon out, are they? Wow, that one's got a minigun. Christ, they have weapons. Alright, start talking to people. I'll make it brief before you ask any stupid questions. I'm Craig, and since you're not a mutant hunter, I'm probably the one you came here to see. Do you want to join the hunters? No. Why are you here, then? I can report a mutant? Oh, damn. Hell no. Is that... Is the mutant the daughter? Sophie? I think that might be what that option is. Holy shit. That's horrible. Don't have time to answer questions. Okay. Goodbye. What are you doing here? You're not with the Hunters. Who are you? I'm Commander Herman, and I'm the one in charge of security inside the city. Will you tell me what you're doing here, then? If it's about the security- I don't know where this is going, by the way. If it's about the security of the city, there are some things you should know. Yeah, I can report the daughter, Sophie. It's horrible.
Uh, I can also report the things going on in the Dead Quarter Hospital. That I will do. Did you know that some pretty disgusting things are going on in the Dead Quarter Hospital? I don't need to listen to what goes on in the hospital. The constant complaints from Dr. Yautzen are quite enough. I'm well aware of everything the doctors do there. Those are just regular business transactions. And any mutants are simply removed from these transactions. The doctors are responsible people. You know what's going on in there and you still don't care. I already answered you and I won't repeat myself. Alrighty then. So I could also report Puss, the person selling human meat next to the hospital. What do you think they would do though? I mean, look, what's the point of reporting anything to these people? Even if they do actually take some sort of action, their action is just going to be to burn everything to the ground and murder people. So, fuck them. You look like the leader. I can also tell because your description is the leader of the hunters. But also because you're wearing huge-ass armor. Yes. The man gives you a piercing stare, as if he thoroughly assessed you in a single moment. You have a strange, hard-to-describe feeling about him. Who are you? My name is Sebastian. And you are? More importantly, what are you doing here if you don't even know who I am? I'm Rena. What is it you wish, then? I want to know more about the rebirth. I'm sure I can't tell you anything that you haven't already heard from one of the hunters. <laughs> tell me everything you know or I'll blow your fucking head off! Christ, there's no way in hell you could take on the people in this base. They've got like, I don't know if that's power armor or just some sort of crazy fancy armor. I think it's power armor. They've got power armor, they have miniguns. No. Do they have a base somewhere? No doubt. All their actions point to it. And considering the equipment they have at their disposal, it's possible that they're using an old army complex of some sort. But where is it? Why do you want to know that? I want to find out who I am. Tell him my story. Interesting. If only you could remember. The rebirth ghouls haul off many of the people that they managed to take alive. It's possible you're one of them. Perhaps you managed to escape, and they want to stop you because you know what they're up to. You must remember, for the sake of all pure humans, we must find out what's going on. But how? The only way is to get the info from our forward base. You must go there. What are you talking about? We have a forward base southeast of the city that we use for external operations. We keep radio contact only rarely to avoid exposing its location to the rebirth. But Commander Tenrita has recently reported that an interrogation of one of the ghouls revealed some new information about the rebirth, and that she'll soon know the location of their base. We waited for someone to arrive with the full report, but nothing happened. Nobody even answered the radio. Our scouts later discovered that the base has been taken over by a group of super mutants that massacred our people. Super mutants, I don't know if I'm ready to take those on yet. What's the purpose of the base outside Albuquerque? It's actually an old army warehouse. We found pre-war weapons and a few suits of power armor inside. We used it for researching mutation and interrogating rebirth ghouls. We simply don't have the means to do that here. We need to be always ready for battle. And since we keep the city clean of mutants, bringing too many prisoners here would be too much of a risk. Why don't you attack the super mutants? They've barricaded themselves in, dug a moat around the base, and filled it with some radioactive crap. They're ready for any attack. If we attacked, there wouldn't be anyone left to defend the city, making it an easy target for the rebirth. Ah, good point. Is there no other way to get that info? Nope. Alright, where's the base then? Here. It shows you the location on the map. I can't spare a single man. So direct attack on well-equipped super mutants would be suicidal. Reasoning with mutants is impossible. Not even one of the children of the cathedral could probably do it. Hopefully you'll manage to sneak in somehow. The 
The Children of the Cathedral? The Children of the Cathedral are the biggest traitors to the human race. They used to serve the Master and his super mutants. Of course, it didn't do them any good, because after the Master's death, the super mutants attacked them along with the rest of pure humans. Okay, guess I'll head there. Come back when you know anything new, then. If every pure human was as willing to fight for the salvation of mankind as you are, we would have purged the world of the mutant blight a long time ago. Goodbye, Sebastian. You piece of shit. Uh, looks like Leicester and Carrie both have something to say about that. How do you think we should proceed in order to get inside a base guarded by super mutants? We can try and discuss the options with them. Don't give me that look. Just because no one has tried before doesn't mean it's impossible. They can't all be stupid murderous monsters as the hunters describe them. Maybe once they recognize you're not their enemy, they'll be more prone to make a deal. Or do you find it more probable we can survive in a fight with a group of super mutants armed to the teeth? Well, if I can use my speech skill, That'd be fantastic. And what do you think about it? We need to find a way to sneak inside if it's possible. If we're really lucky, they might not even notice and eliminate us in some particularly painful way. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not sure if I want to do this with you. It would be cooler than I'm... It could be cooler than I'm able to manage. Too cool for you, Carrie? Even with your leather jacket that you're unwilling to take off for better armor? So she says sneak, Leicester says talk. Well, my sneak skill is terrible, my talk skill is good, so I guess I'll try to talk. There's the prisoners. Let's go speak with the doctors, or whoever these people are. Should not be here without a valid reason. Yeah, anyway, who are you? Yautzen Daichi. You can call me Dr. Yautzen. Are you looking for me? Not really, but I have some questions. What is it you do here? Chief Physician and Head of Research of the Hunters. This means I take care uh, that the medical ward runs smoothly. Encounters between our warriors and groups of the Rebirth are quite common. Providing for a lot of wounds to treat. It is also my responsibility to supervise and lead all research. I personally partake in the research of the anti-mutant virus and of implants to improve human abilities. Uh, tell me about the anti-mutant virus. We modify and improve toxic gases for possible combat use, but our main goal is a virus that would eradicate all mutants, but be completely harmless for genetically clean humans. Is it actually possible to make such a virus? Theoretically, theoretically, it may well be possible. The virus would have to be able to distinguish a specific genetic information and based on that either kill the subject or keep it unharmed. Okay, anyway, tell me about those implants. So I already know about implants. Yep, they do that in the dead quarter. Mm -hmm. Those people have no honor and neither have you should you decide to undergo such surgery. To murder one man so that another could gain a slight advantage, that is no progress. It is pretty fucked up, I agree. Say, do you conduct experiments on living subjects by any chance? In your own interest, I do hope you're not trying to accuse me of dishonesty. I work exclusively with mutants and my research is of benefit to all people. But mutants are sentient beings too. To conduct experiments on them is disgusting. If you consider the work If you consider the work I do disgusting, I shall take that as an insult which won't go unanswered. Uh Uh Did I just piss off the entire super mutants? I mean not super mutants, the entire monster hunters. Is everybody gonna try to shoot me? Or just the doctor? Oh god. I may have- he just shot the doctor. <laughs> I may have made a slight mistake. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so I'm Rena. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the rebirth. Cool, do you have a base somewhere? Sure, where is it? Tell them the story. How? What are you talking about? Um, alright, how do I get inside? I'll go there. Cool, thanks. And we're caught back up. Is there anything else to talk to him about? Something more specific? I hear you don't like the doctors from the hospital in the dead quarter. What can you tell me about them? They have no honor. They lack any respect for human life. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe I'd be able to do something about it, but nope. Where are you from? I was born in our local vault. Oh, they're from the Imperial City. Uh, if you're from the vault, what are you doing here? The Empire disposes of a large array of pre-war knowledge and technology, but it has no intention of developing them further. I was employed as a mere medical doctor and was prohibited from conducting any scientific research. I was therefore seeking for other alternatives, and I found them here. It was also here that I learned about the mutants, the mutant threat we have to face, not only in military terms, but also scientific terms. Wait, he's, he was actually prevented from doing research in the Empire? That's fucked up. You didn't know about this threat when you were still in the Empire? No, apparently they... Didn't even know about the mutants. Madame Chow is Japanese, isn't she? What? I don't know what the hell this is talking about. I know he's apparently Japanese or from Japanese descent, but what? What is this? Huh? Some of them were Chinese. Uh, what? I don't understand why that option even existed. Thanks for your time. Can I go in here? So many books, and yet so few I can read. Uh... <laughs> Why is there a sword in the bookshelf? Alright. I guess that's it. Alright, let's go tell Catherine. And then after that, I guess we're gonna head to the forward base. See if we can deal with the super mu- Oh, fuck, fuck! Oh. Okay. Boop. See ya. Right. Well, now that we've done that... Now that we've started the encounter and run away, we can probably go the other way now, right? Alright, let's see if we're safe to go out this way now. Yes! It worked! Alright, so they're just, they're just hanging out on the other side of the map, which means not only am I safe to go this way, but I can snipe them from very far away. Which should prove much to my advantage. Oh right, this is the hospital. I guess I could appear here too, please don't. Good. Whew. All good. A woman in the Imperial City called Lorraine has lost her son recently and would be willing to take your daughter in. She knows about the toes and doesn't mind. And is she a kind woman? Do you believe she'll take good care of Sophie? I do. Then this is good news. At least, I think so. 
I never really thought Sophie could get in. I don't want to lose her, but I know this is the only way. What do I need to do? Let's take Sophie to the gates of the Imperial City. Woof, woof. They've all leveled up. Sweet. Ah, oh, yes, it's perk time. I'm gonna go with the life giver, <laughs> life giver, life giver perk. You get an additional four hit points for every level. That's really gonna help because I'm very squishy at the moment. I have pretty low hit points. I'm just hoping it's retroactive and it applies to every level I've already gotten up to this point and not just going forwards. But let's see. So I've got 72 hit points. Ah, it doesn't apply retroactively. That's alright, it's going to make a big difference in the future. Little more small guns, little more science, little more speech. And the rest... Let's get up to 90 lockpick. And then summon to repair. What? What I just enter combat? Oh, is that the group of vassals over there? I think it is. All right, then let's do this right here now. Somebody move? Oh, hello. I just want to make really sure I don't kill a civilian. I think that's a civilian. There's no way to be sure. Because you can't, like, get a popover description of them because they're behind something. I can only see whether they have a gun. You have a gun. One down. Look at my accuracy. Shoot him in the eyes, 95% chance to hit from all the way over here. Damn it, die already. 
There we go. Hey, that can that I can take. I can take a couple stabs. Come on, try your best. Someone else has a gun. Where? You. Ah, oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. I'm gonna he- oh, I don't have enough points to heal. Mm, I think Lystra's running away, so she must be very badly hurt. That's all well and good, but what about Benicio? Super Sledge. Also, hold on a second. Carrie, why are you using your knife again? I really don't want to have to micromanage you, but dear god. Plasma rifle? I mean, if you can use it, sure. I don't think she has any extra ammo for it, though. Yeah, she's very badly hurt. Almost dead. I have no stims left though, I'm sorry, Lystra. Time for you to start carrying your load. Your fair share of it. Carry's already weighed down like a pack mule. Oh, I've got one stim. Good. <laughs> There's Benicio just all alone? Well, hello there. Fancy meeting you here. As soon as you enter, <laughs> so it's just starting this whole conversation again, except all of the mercenaries are dead. It's just you and me, buddy. Try your best. Carrie, what are you doing? Fuck you, Benicio. Oh. You're using a special weapon. It did seem to do exceptionally... a lot of damage. Chris Super V SMG. Pretty sure that's also added by... Fallout 1.5, I don't think it was in Fallout 1 or 2. Just like the Browning Rifle and some other things. Like the grenade launchers, I think, are also unique to this mod. Submachine gun of surprising power, considered by many to be the ultimate weapon for close quarters combat. Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, it uses 14mm armor piercing. Or, well, uses 14mm, you could put armor piercing or non-armor piercing in it, I'm sure. Maybe I should use that, instead of the Assault Rifle. The Assault Rifle just doesn't seem useful anymore. Let's try that thing out. I don't think I have any more ammo for it. 
Never mind, I have 174 shots. Okay. I'm so sick of managing carry. Lystra's fine, but Carrie just can't make up her mind on what she wants to use. Alright, let's go get healed up. Oh, I can tell him about the doctor for the mutant hunters that don't think highly of them. But, uh, before that. Lystra. Alright, we're all good. So, what happens if I do tell them about a mutant hunter doctor? I don't know Dr. Yautzen personally, but I've heard that he's not very fond of us. Fortunately, he has no say in this matter. His words about honor are nothing but arrogant bluster. His main interest is killing mutants. Mine is healing people. Healing for large amounts of caps. Quality work demands appropriate pay. I see nothing wrong about that. Alright, goodbye. Once again, I could choose to shoot them, but... Again, I don't think it's a good idea. Even though they're doing horrible things, I don't think it's a good idea just to make it so that there's basically no doctors in the town. I hardly think the Monster Hunter Doctor would be willing to just help general people. It seems like they're only focused on researching the virus, the anti-mutant virus and all that stuff. I guess I'll just leave them. Alright, well, it's just about time to leave this city for good. So I don't know about Cole, whatever, I'm just going to abandon that quest, I don't know what to do with it. I still need help Lystra find her brother, which I'm going to do when I go to that other city that I forgot the name of. So that's all good. Need to bring information to Sebastian about the uh, back from the forward base controlled by super mutants, yep, so I got that to do. So I've got some things to bring back to the city, but for the most part I'm done with all the, like, in-city quests. There's one more thing I want to do. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Just curious if anything happens with this. If I go back to the Wild Paradise and talk to that guy who wanted me to find Ananim, the guy who kind of like gave up on the job, I wonder if he has anything new to say. What brings you to me this time? What do you think about the new Emperor? Couldn't be happier. Iran swamped the commander with work, and I was completely forgotten in all the commotion. With some luck, I still have a long vacation ahead of me. Wouldn't have it any other way. Good for you. Goodbye, Turok. You know what I really need? I need to buy stuff. Chuck is gone. Like, there's not that many people that actually sell stuff left in this town anymore. I think it's mostly just this person up here. Well, let's see if I can at least get some stims from him. Three stims, I'll take it.
This will also take as much 14mm ammo as possible, since you don't seem to find that in huge caches. Mm, energy cells could be useful too for Lystra. How expensive are they? They're pretty expensive. But, I mean, <laughs> what the hell does it matter? I have so much money and so much stuff to trade. Alright, how much will that buy me? Almost all of it. Okay, good. Also, before I forget, I should probably actually give that to Lystra. Right now, she's got 68. Not that much of it. Actually, hold on. I'm going to give her 80. And then... I'm going to give you the rest of it. Maybe she'll actually use the energy weapons now? Yeah, she didn't have any energy weapon ammo. Maybe that's the reason she wouldn't use it. Although I'm not sure why she equipped it in the first place if she didn't have ammo for it. But let's see if she actually freaking uses it now. Alright. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, I'm going to head over to the Camp of Mutants.